I was um, watching and commenting on a YouTube channel this morning. A beautiful lady. And uh, she is so humble. And uh, she, she was sharing. She kept saying... Um, you know all her, all the wonderful things that she's doing. She says it's not me, guys. It's all God, and and you guys, the subscribers. And um, I felt felt it in my heart to tell her. I said, "You're such a beautiful soul, but I wish you would stop." putting distance between yourself and God like that. When you say, it's not me, guys. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just little old me. It's all God. To God go the glory. Um, this is what our natural carnal mind uh, will say in the name of humility. But it is fake. Um, it is, I shouldn't say it's fake. Um, it's misapplied because it is um, debasing. The natural mind will speak like that because in the subconscious there is programming of debasement. Debasement is different from organic humility. And so I I made a very kind and loving comment and hopefully it will be received with the uh, in the spirit as they say. And uh, is all about acknowledging your identity as the Christ. And why is that important? Why is it important to dissolve the separation between myself and God or, or myself and Christ? Why is it important to dissolve that gap? When you own the identity of Christ as Christ rather than being in Christ or Christ in you, within, uh, like water filling a jug, the jug and the water are not one. There is that little bit of distinction that will keep our soul separate from the water. If we perceive ourselves to merely be the jug that holds the water, we will never identify with life, with the life source. So it is important to own the identity of Christ as Christ, very, very Christ. And why is this important? When we do so, it dissolves the egoic and mental hierarchies that our society lives in. The hierarchy of master and servant, of husband and wife, um, parent and children, there's always the distinction. You're never on equal authority and on equal footing. And living and experiencing life through this egoic system of hierarchy is what keeps us in society separated because our mind, 
our natural mind lives on the program of hierarchy where you elevate some and debase others. You're never on equal ground. You're never on equal authority. And that's how you get the... Um, what's the word? The inequity and the judgments. And we don't honor and respect each other equally. Someone is always someone else's servant. Someone always has to obey someone else. Someone has to always yield to the authority of someone else. That's a sick and broken system, people. And that is all coming from that subconscious programming of seeing ourselves as distinct and separate from God. We are all God. We are all Word made flesh. The Word was with God and the Word is God. And the Word made itself flesh in the manifestation of you and me. You are God, as crazy and offensive as that sounds to our ego mind, because it cannot process, uh, it can't handle that much power and authority and responsibility. It can't. But receiving this truth through your soul will actually work real humility. Humility without debasement and disempowerment. Because you have to take this authority and power serious. You have to respect it. It makes you accountable to handle it wisely. And, uh, yeah, to handle it in humility and empowerment at the same time. But this is the truth that will level the playing field, that will dissolve enmity, that will bring peace, because now everybody is equal. Now that, that next person that you're talking about, that you're talking about negatively, they also are Christ. You see how this eliminates, well, or calls for eliminating and dissolving all judgment? That's the responsibility of carrying the weight of this glory. The glory of the Christ, which you are. You are that. You don't just have it. You're not just in it, like I said, like the water in the jug. No, you are it. You're both the water and the jug. You're all of it. And the truth is, you say, I am nothing without God. But the truth is, God is nothing without you. You are literally the manifestation that gives God the experience as you. I hope this helps helps you understand why oneness is so important and how that affects everything and how we look at one another and how it would change the societal structure. It's very important. So, share this video if you feel it might help someone. And, uh, yeah. Have a wonderful day. It's uh, a, bit, a little bit fall-like today, breezy. The wind is blowing, the leaves are blowing off the trees. But it's gorgeous. Another gorgeous day in the day of God. God having an experience on a fall day. Ah, so wonderful. Bye for now.